Right, let me show you how this one works. It's super easy. You've only got to do one secret thing before you start the trick. You are going to secretly take the deck of cards, you're going to turn the bottom card face up, all right? And you're going to put that on back on the bottom of the deck. So this happens, so nobody knows that you've done this, so this happens before you've even started. And then you're going to find someone, grab someone, and you're going to do the trick. So, uh, you spread the cards out. Now what I'm doing here is, before Cat goes to take a card, I am just spreading the cards out so that I'm obviously not going to keep spreading and reveal this. You want to hide that as best you can. So just start to uh, have the cards in mechanics grip and spread the cards very, very slowly. Like this, cat take any card. And they should take a card somewhere like that. And then here's what I do. I say, I don't want to see. And as I do that, my hand is going to drop to my side like this. And what's that? what that is actually going to do is I'm going to turn the cards over. So it looks like this, I said, um, have a look at the card, I don't want to see it. And now, at my side here, I've actually turned the deck of cards over. So when I come back here, I just re-grip, and I come back like this. And now what they don't realise is that you've now turned all of the cards over like this, and all of these cards are now face up, right? Um, so here's what not to do, Cat, take your card and put it somewhere in the deck, right? Don't do that, because that's gonna be pretty obvious. So the way you do this is um, you hold the cards nice and tight, because you don't want them to lift up on this card, you want to keep like a Vulcan death grip, right, on this uh, on this deck of cards. Obviously you don't turn your hand over as well. So you're gonna keep the cards like that, and all you do is you say, slide to the card in somewhere, so slide it in the deck, so there's no chance that I can see it. Okay, and you have them slide it all the way inside, all right? Now they've actually just done the trick for you because all the cards are face up under this one. They've actually reversed their own card and they've got no idea that they've just done it. Perfect. Right, so now I say I'm gonna put the cards behind my back and without even looking, just by the sense of the fingertips alone, I'm gonna take one card out, I'm gonna turn it face up and I'm gonna put it back inside the deck. Now here's what you do behind your back. You put your hands behind your back and here's what I did behind the back. Very, very easy. All you have to do is take that top card behind your back and flip it face up. All right, that is it. So I'll do it. So now you know what's going on, that's all I'm doing. When I put the cards behind my back, that's all I do. I take that, I feel that top card and I just flip it face up. When you come back round, you make sure that the cards are face down. So you just turn your wrist as you come out and all the cards are now face down and everything looks as it should. And you say, I took one card out of the deck, I turned it face up, I put it back in the middle. So now there's only one card facing up and that should be the seven of spades. Seven of spades. You like your sevens today, don't you? The seven of spades, and it will always be their card. I think it's a pretty good um, trick to start with. There's no sleight of hand involved. So go away, practice that, and have fun with it.